Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I have been a Bluebeam user for a little over seven years and I want to show you a tool that is underutilized in Bluebeam. It's one of the most simple, basic tools in Bluebeam, but for some reason, I just think it's underutilized, especially as I see other people using the program. This video should be less than three minutes. Let's dive into it. All right, let me show you guys how I save time in Bluebeam. So if you work for an architecture firm, civil engineering firm, some sort of firm where you're using Bluebeam, you probably have a very large folder structure where you're accessing different drawings, different reports. For instance, I work in land development. So we have a million project folders and each project folder has just something different in it. And sometimes we need to access certain documents instantly. We spend about one, two minutes, maybe a couple clicks going through different folders. When Bluebeam has a perfect tool in here that can get you to the right document every single time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we open up Bluebeam, I'm going to go to this file access little toolbar right here. Now, if you're not seeing file access, go ahead and right click. You can show different things over here. So I have it set to my preferences. I could go add bookmarks, flags, forms if I wanted to but I really like this setup for myself. So again, if it's not showing, go down and go to file access right here. Now that we see file access, let's click it. What I love about this is it can show your recents by date. It can show them by folder, by the actual folders you know that you're clicking through. So it's Mac home downloads, Mac home desktop content. You can also go by most access. So these are the most access documents within my computer. And then we have access history, which I love. You can go by last month, you can go to the previous month, but let's take it one step further. So let's say if you're working on a project where you're always going to have to bring up a certain geotech report or a certain survey, or just some critical document that you wanna be able to open quickly, what I typically like to do is I like to go ahead and pin it. So if you hover over, let's say the survey, I can click pin, I can do new category, and let's call it project number one, name of your project, whatever it is. Let's say there's a certain geotech report that I always need to refer to. Well, since I already made this project number one category, I can go ahead and add it to that project number one. That way, whenever I open up Bluebeam, it's automatically right there. I can press it, click it, and automatically go to it. I feel like this is so underutilized because I don't know about you, but I like to be really efficient and I always try to find ways where I can get to something with the fewest amount of clicks. I know some people might say, well, just go through the folders. What's the big deal? Going through folders sometimes can take you about three, four, five clicks and time and effort making sure you got the right document. If you automatically pin the right document in Bluebeam, you'll be able to instantaneously go to this document that you need. Also, if you ever want to make sure that it's in the right file path or if you ever want to see the file in its particular path, you can right click it and do open folder and it will take you right to it. You can also copy the path, so it'll copy that file folder. You can go into your little Windows Explorer and paste it, and it'll take you right to your document. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for tips and tricks to improve my efficiency when I'm at work, so I hope this helped. Maybe you've already known this, but I truly think it's underutilized. I don't see enough people using it. And for everyone wanting more engineering content, don't you worry, I've just been adjusting to my new role at my new job, getting through some vacations here and there, but I am dedicated to making more and more content to help younger engineers, developers, contractors, and anyone who wants to grow in this industry. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.